Hello guys, Liam here, and today I'm back on the Let's Play series, and I th hopefully have something fun planned f for today. Um, I don't know what the last time, the last thing I showed you was. So first off, there's my flame bow. I don't know. I think I showed that. That's my coal supplies. Here's my lapis and redstone. Oh, and if all of you are all of a sudden going, wait, you had so much more iron. Well, I turned it into blocks right there, 35 blocks of iron. That's where all that went. Um, let me back out of here. I killed all the pigs because they were getting really annoying. So now I have a bunch of meat on me, which is very nice. Um, let's run on down to the zombie spawner. Hopefully I don't die. I killed myself the last time on this. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, we're here. I've started doing the branch mining technique all the way down these. This is just a big branch mine, basically, if, if you couldn't tell already. It's to grab resources, that kind of thing. And hopefully, I don't have to do too much branch mine. This is where we worked last time. I expanded the hallway down that way. And I did some finishing touches in here. And for now, this is just a basic XP farm. Here's the chest. Here's my loot chest. I'll show you that in a sec. For, but for now, this is a basic XP farm. But what we plan on turning this into is a village villager breeding station where we'll heal villagers or we'll, we'll turn village zombies into villagers and then we'll get them into the houses that we'll have or maybe I definitely need an XP, um, an iron golem farm, not XP. I have XP right here. So that's a plan. I just need to find another mob spawn to get a better XP farm going. And that's my rotten zombie flesh. And here's my straight up good chest that I've been getting. Here's drops that I've been getting. This is a pair of just straight up chain boots. I'm very happy about those. An efficiency shovel. Um, feather falling three protection two. Look, this is projectile protection four. Feather falling four. Those are great boots. I am very happy to have those. And they drop iron bars too. So I'm very happy to have all of that. And what I want to do today is, well, I'm going to head on over to the jungle temple, and we're basically going to destroy the whole thing, because I need mossy cobble. And right now, for my buildings, I'm either going to be using mossy cobble, but I'm, I really want to use the mossy brick and normal brick. So I might use that. I have to see how it looks. I don't have a dungeon yet. So I'm going to build my first thing, I'm, I'm going to collect myself at least, a bunch of mossy cobble, and we're going to go from there. So I'll meet you over at the jungle temple. So, yep, I'll see you there. Alrighty, we're back. I've reached the jungle temple. I just took a quick little boat ride. And in the last episode, or a few episodes ago, I believe we already raided it. And if I didn't show that, well, I'm sorry. I should have. <laughs> but I rated it. I'm pretty sure. I think I rated it the first episode. But really what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole jungle temple apart. I've got two efficiency picks. Hopefully that should get me through it. If not, well, that's unfortunate for me. I'll have to just run back and grab myself another pick. So for now, I'm going to be mining. And... I'll get back to you guys once I'm actually close to destroying this thing, so I'll see you soon. Okay guys, I'm back, and can you spot where the jungle temple was? I sure can't, because it wasn't right where that giant hole is, that's for sure. They actually do leave a pretty big hole in the ground, believe it or not, about this big. Just right out of the mountain, which is nice. Here's the last load of mossy cobble, so that's two and a half stacks there. And in all, if you're guessing how many picks that took me to to get rid of, um, two was definitely not enough. I underestimated just a tad bit. It actually was six. So, yay. That was a fun excavation for me. Now we need to put these blocks to some good use, and I'm actually curious how many I got, so let's see if I can make it home before the sun sets. I had a boat, but I lost my boat. I've made a lot of boats. Like, I swear I left a boat right there. I swear there was a boat here. 
but it's gone. And I don't know where they go. I just leave them right outside my house, and I'm like, okay, but I'll be right back. It'll be all good. Uh, look, see, there it is. It drifted over there. And then when it's not where I expected it to be, I make a new one. So I've got like nine or ten boats just around my base. Which is a stupid number, but hey, just call me the Boatman. Speaking of the Boatman, something that, God, I've been, I'm kind of in a destroying kind of mood, so. The first thing that I'm kind of doing is, well, first off, I started building in the wrong spot, but. Um, I want to put a house... What am I in? Hello? Hi, Hitbox. Hi. Thanks. I want to put a house there. Uh, kind of on the cliff side, built into the cliff. Because right in where I'm standing is going to be our first kind of village that we're going to be setting up. I need to do a lot, a lot, a lot of terraforming. And that's right, I did say a lot like three or four times there. Because that's how much terraforming I have to do. A lot. So, let me just try and put it into proportion. We want this to be a better bay, because as you can see, I think I brought you guys into the nether at one point, but I made a portal when I went in. Anyways, this bay needs to be much bigger. It needs to look better, in my opinion. I want to have a wa I want that waterfall to look better, but I want it to be right there-ish. There's some trees in the way. That's okay, we can always move them, replant them. How I've been getting my wood is I plant four jungle saplings right there, that's the tree. And I just chop the tree down over and over again. So, if you're trying to make your bone meal cost effective, I highly suggest using jungle trees because you get much more wood. Because it takes four or five now for a jungle tree. But anyways, we need to basically terraform all of this area out and make it water. But we're not doing that today because I don't have the time. <laughs> That's like two hours of work just in terraforming assuming I have enough iron even to make no I have enough iron but it, it's just a lot of work and we're not ready for that now but what we do want to try and start doing if I had ender pearls man this would be really nice note on the project list oh oh that gives me a good idea something we can do real fast right now something that I've been wanting to do is make a project board maybe right here quick setup Mm, cobblestone? Does cobblestone look good? No. Mm, I don't know. For now, it'll be cobblestone. We can make it. Hi, board. Welcome to my life. Okay, that's a board. I don't want you here. Thanks. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to put some string on those. Actually, we can do that now. Look, we're doing so much Let's Playing today. You're actually doing things with me. Wow. This is so revolutionary. Okay, string. 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 I don't like you. String. Okay. All of that is about good. You can kind of see it, but that's how you implement string. And let's check. Wow, I feel ADHD. That's all of our mossy cobble that we got, which is a fair bit. A lot of stacks. Uh, uh, 11 or 12. But what I, w what I was trying to say is I want to make a board for basically projects so we know what we want to do. And this is the start of it. We'll make it look better, of course, and we'll implement it better. But for now, if we can make some signs. Do I have some stick? That'll do. Uh, this'll do. Here's my bench of craftiness. Choop. Choop, choop, choop. And that's three signs. Awesome. So, what we need to get going is an. And. Oh, you know what? We need a sign that tells us that this is the board. But I can't really place it. I have it at an angle, which is maybe not my best idea ever, but cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, project. Really hope I spelled that right. Board. And again, I'll make this look nicer for the next video, but we're just kind of throwing ideas out. Um, ender, ender. Uh, so that's an enderman farm. What else do we need? Um, when we want to start fishing village. 
where we are is what I'm gonna call the fishing village, because we're gonna have a bunch of different villages, because it's gonna be like a whole bunch of tribes that were all around. No! Where was that? Okay, I shouldn't click in the air. Okay, now, now I'm fine to click around. But, um, we're gonna have a whole bunch of different villages. So maybe we'll have a village over there that'll be up on top there. That's the mountaintop village. This will be the fishing village because I want to make a big dock for them. And I can park all my boats at it and I'll be so happy because I'll finally have a place to put boats. And once I finally transfer our farm over there into um, actual making us villagers, so villager breeding, we'll be able to inhabit our villages. Or maybe we decide we don't want to. I'm not really so sure what we're going to do with that. But I know for sure we want an iron golem farm, but I can't... I'll, I'll add more projects, but that's all the signs I have right now. <laughs> um, hang on. Um, yeah, so I'm going to see if I can't find something else for us to do. So I'll get right back to you guys then. Alrighty, guys, I'm back, and I was looking at the time, and unfortunately we don't have much left. I'm still highly sad about not having 30 minute videos, but I'm getting there. I am definitely getting there. We're growing, and we're doing well, and we have a let's play, and I'm playing in it, and I'm talking to you. True story. All of that was true right from my mouth. Anyways, this is about the spot where I was thinking I was going to put a village place, a tower. I don't really know what to call it. I need, this is gonna lead into the secret base, so I was starting to dig out, or the whole secret underground thing, so I was starting to dig out, because this, each little place will have a house, which is basically the gateway house, it just looks like a normal house, there's a secret piston door somewhere in it, and it leads into, say, a big open room, where it's basically a guide room, so maybe I'd have the room certain they'd be color coded they'd all I want them color coded so maybe this would be the yellow room it wouldn't all be yellow there'd be a stripe of yellow and then I would know if I want to go somewhere I want to go to the yellow room the yellow room leads to the fishing village and so on there's a lot of work that needs to go into this but for now I made us a little hidey hole and hopefully I'll get on be able to move out of this spot that looks like the perfect spot too I'm a fantastic person. But that's where we're going to want to try and put a fishing house, which we will work on next time. I might do a little more digging and laying out, but for now, that's looking good to me. Uh, something else I don't know if I showed. I made that different. It looks much better. Thank God. Thank... Oh, I almost clicked that right out of my face. Almost did it. Is that in the right place? Hello? No, I don't want you, chat. Get away. Perfect, okay. I think that's all good. So, I've got a lot of work to do before the next episode. <laughs> so, I'm going to get to that. But, I will see you guys next time. So, bye guys!